wave power. As we wait for word on a final draft agreement from Paris Climate Summit today, we turn our attention to the world's oceans. International leaders say finding cleaner sources of energy is vital to the parent planet. Because we're your science headquarters, we sent our Dave Malkoff to see how scientists are turning waves into power. The Oregon coast is becoming a popular spot to experiment with getting electricity. There in the background, you can see through the fog is the ocean sentinel. From the and movement of the, the ocean, wave power is clean. It never stops. And it's been difficult enough for some first generation companies to simply give up. The next step forward may come from an unexpected place. Salem, Oregon is not exactly on the coast. In fact, you can see here on the map, we're at least an hour away from the nearest ocean waves. Computer engineer Mike Murrow. So we can adjust the speed of the waves. Has built a simulated ocean in his dusty garage. So what we're doing is we're turning ocean waves into electricity. It's a working ocean wave power generator. So what's happening is as the waves are passing over this airbag, it's actually compressing it from the pressure, and that's forcing air through the pipe. The waves will compress the opposite end, and basically you get this breathing motion that sends the air back and forth. Right now, 20 companies like Mike's M3 Wave are in a competition called the Wave Energy Prize. The winner gets more than a million dollars from the Energy Department, plus a chance to test their invention in the Navy's gigantic wave pool in Maryland. Doing this in a tank is one thing, but doing it in the ocean is something very different. That's right. This is a really good start. Open ocean tests have had mixed results around the world. Last year, Mike experimented in the ocean, and it worked. That's why he thinks he can win the contest. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't think I could win. <laughs> Experts say each three-foot section of ocean could power 10 U.S. homes. Now the race is on to see who can bring that kind of energy to you. In Salem, Oregon, Dave Malkoff, The Weather Channel. Well, it's warm enough to hit the beach in a lot of places this weekend where it shouldn't be, Reynolds. Absolutely. You know, and speaking of, of that story, which was on the Oregon coast, my gosh, I think you mentioned earlier this morning, Steph, the, the waves out there. Surfers going bananas yeah, with that 30, stuff. 30, 40-foot waves. Maverick uh, out there. Crazy stuff. And then you talk about what the snowboarders are going to be dealing with up in the mountains.